What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to give you guys a very, very quick update on Tesla spy and the overall market. I'm going to talk about the CPI and what you should be watching for as time goes on. But just know that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out my Moomoo link. If you deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed 15 in total. Not to mention an 8.1% APY on invested cash. The offer ends very soon in just about two and a half weeks. Anyways, now let's talk about what's happening with the broader markets. So we had some big news that just came out. This is what's on everyone's minds. And that is CPI report, the CPI report that just came out. And it's actually, uh, I would say, aligned with expectations, but simultaneously not that great. And let me explain exactly why. So core CPI month over month was at 0.3%. And then core CPI year over year was at 3.3%. Both of those were aligned with expectations. For all items CPI, this was basically month over month at 0.2% aligned with expectations. So everything was pretty good so far. But then we have this one. CPI for all items year over year was at 2.6%. This is aligned with expectations, but it is a slight increase. And that's something that's worth mentioning. So what does this mean? So if you guys look at this, we have all items CPI without food and energy. That's the purple line right over here. Uh, this is basically on a bit of a downtrend. It's been downtrending since. and then during this report it's been kind of flat so it's kind of flat right now not really doing much but then for all items cpi this has been downtrending since march of or obviously around like since april of this year it's been just downtrending 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 and now we're seeing a slight increase for october so not that big of a surprise because you know it's only 0.2 percent up but the thing is if this trend continues we get another increase that's not going to be a good sign so we have to see about that. Obviously, this is just the first time we got a slight increase, so it's nothing to worry about quite yet. But we'll see if there's another increase that could cause some panic in the markets. Um, so we'll see about that. But just know that there was a slight increase. That's not the best of news. This is what we were expecting, but we'll see what happens at least from here. Now, when it comes to earnings, there's not really much coming out for today. Very, very minor earnings. I will talk more about like Disney and Alibaba in my videos for tomorrow and Friday. And then for news about the markets, we just got inflation. Everything was very, very close to expectations besides all items year over year being a little bit of an increase. We did expect that. But like I said before, uh, that's not a great sign. So that's why the market may be getting a very nuanced reaction. There was some news about how Elon Musk and uh, Vivek have been... Uh, appointed some of the leaders for Doge, the Department of Government Efficiency, the new administra administration. This is affecting Tesla a little bit more positive news for it because uh, the market does like the fact that Tesla will have a bigger edge on AI regulation as a result of this because of Musk's connections. Let's just say that. Um, there was some negative news for Tesla too about the Cybertruck recall. About 2,000 of them are going to be recalled. And this is a real recall because of their inverter issues, not necessarily a software update. So very mixed news for Tesla this morning. Besides that, DirecTV's proposal to be have an acquisition with Dish is more than likely terminated after uh, a rejected offer. So just want to call that out as well. But besides that, there's not really much else coming out on, on the news. So let's talk about the charts real quick. Spy is trying to push right over here, looking at this resistance at 598. We pushed once CPI came out, now we're starting to slow down. So we're going to be watching to see what kind of reaction we get. If we hold above 598, we're looking for 599 as our next target. And if we can't hold above 598, there is a risk of us dipping closer to about 595 again. And if that fails us, we're looking for 594.28, followed by this imbalance fill towards 592. So there is a risk of downside considering the fact that we're not doing a good job at holding above 598 as of right now. But we'll see what the reaction is once we open because sometimes there is a delayed reaction to CPI. This chart does favor that I might try to push it, but maybe dip a little bit lower. So look upon a push at open and we'll see if we get a dip later on. We'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see, guys, how this ends up going. So let's see if we break past 598 or not. As of right now, it does look like it might actually dip a bit. So we'll see about that for ES. The same thing we pushed about 6,030 only to slow back down. This is at risk of coming back down to 6,005 near the 20 EMA. If we lose that support, we're going to be dipping back down to about 59.92, followed by 59.80. So watch and see how this ends up going. We're making lower highs right here. We had a lower high here, 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 here. So this could be making a lower high, and then this could be dipping lower. There is a risk without looking at the current technicals. For NVIDIA, we're trading sideways. I do see a push coming to about the 150 area, very close to 150. 150 to 152 is going to be a tough resistance. We'll see if 152 breaks to remain bullish. Otherwise, it could hit 150 and start dipping back down to about 146. I think there's a risk of 150 to 146, so just keep that in mind. 
For other factors out there, we have Bitcoin hitting 90,000. It's going to likely shuffle between 90 and 86,000. Look for a push for 90,000, maybe a little bit above that, but we'll see if it breaks that or not. It is a tough resistance, so we'll have to give this some time. Uh, but look for 90,000 to be tested, and we'll see if it breaks. As of right now, every time we touch it, we do, we do kind of like slow down. As far as Tesla goes, we have this nice falling wedge that's led to a little bit of a push. However, there's no guarantee the move is going to last because we have to break past 340 to 346 plus. If we don't break past 340, uh, you know, if we don't hold above it for four hours or more, there is a risk of us returning back down to 325. So just keep that in mind on Tesla. It depends on 340. Can we reclaim it or not? Otherwise, we might be dipping lower. NQ tried to push only to dip back down. If we don't break past um 21,250, there's a risk of us coming back down to 21,138. If that fills us, we could be dipping back down to the 21,000 area. So watch and see if that ends up being the case. For the QQQ, um, we did try to push a bit. Uh, if we end up losing support here, we're looking for essentially 510. Uh, we have to try to break 515. Otherwise, 510 is likely coming. If that fails us, we're going to be dipping back down for 508. So I'll be watching to see how things end up going. Apple's dipping here. We could be dipping closer to about the 222 area. We're getting a rejection off our 20 EMA. The IWM Russell 2000 is kind of rejecting here as well. We have to see if we break past 240. Otherwise, there's a risk of 236 coming. So it might try to pop and then dip. But we're range bound. Break 240, we could turn a little bit more bullish. Lose 236, we turn more bearish. We'll have to see which way it ends up going. For coin, we could be making a lower high if we don't reclaim uh, 330. It might attempt to push to 330. If we don't break it, though, this could turn back down to about 320. So we'll have to see if that breaks or not. Amazon also could be rejecting here. If we don't break past 210, we're looking for a dip back down to 208. Meta could also be slowing. If we lose 582, we're looking for 580 as our target. So it's starting to slow a little bit. Microsoft might be dipping to 420. So just keep that in mind. That's the most likely move. And then also Google's dipping here. It might make its way down to about 182. If 182 does not hold, though, 180 is coming. So we'll see about that. I know people are asking me about Palantir. It does look more bullish right now. We're looking for 62 to be coming than 62.5. If we break that, I think we could get closer to 64. It is a little bit stronger than the markets for now, but let's see if 62 breaks. With that being said, guys, I want to make this video very, very short and simple. The market is doing a very, very uh, interesting job at holding up, but we're we're simultaneously not breaking resistance very nicely so far, even after CPI came out, possibly because of the fact that CPI did increase slightly on a year-over-year -year basis. That's not the end of the world, of course. We need to wait for more reports to get more, uh, I would say insights on what the data is truly doing because sometimes you could get like one little spike and then you know it could still just collapse so that's not what's really happening in this case we just have to wait and see but i just want to say that because inflation didn't go up just a little bit and that was what we were expecting that's why the reaction is kind of like this is a little bit more nuanced with that being said i thank you all so much for listening i'll be back in a couple of hours to give you guys another update i appreciate you guys so much for your attention i'll be back uh, to give you guys more insights very very soon thank you for listening let's see how the market ends up reacting it is looking a little heavy right now and we'll be watching our levels just to be safe there could be another big reaction after open so just give it the market the time it needs thanks for listening and peace out